Hi, I'm Janine Happy of Two Old Crows, and today we're here in my friend Pam Cosgrove's beautiful home to show you how to make our tall, woolly cedar trees. And we also have on display on the table the what you will the items that you will be getting in the kit, and I will be demonstrating each step. The first thing that you will be getting is the instructions. You'll be getting, and you'll be getting four different wools, and you'll be getting the wires to complete the branches, the floral tape to attach the um, wires to the dowel. You'll be getting the dowel, which are marked in the one and a half inch increments. Each mark is where you'll be attaching your branches and you will be getting the strips of calico which will hide the trunk and hide the floral tape all the way down to the end when you finish attaching all your branches. The wool comes notched for one and a quarter inch strips as you can see. All you have to do since this is on the grain just tear and you get your one and a half inch strips and from a one and a half inch strip, that's where you will start your fringing. And when you finish your fringing, this is what you'll come up with. So this is what we're trying to achieve. So I already, this is a strip that I will start. If you have a selvage edge, I like to cut that off. So you won't have any of these little threads hanging around. Now the important thing about fringing is that you're going to leave a quarter of an inch margin, which means that you will cut up to that quarter of an inch. I like to fringe very thin, about a little bit more than an eighth of an inch. This way, this gives the effect that we like to use on our cypress trees you get a thinner, more detailed look. Exactly. And that's it. And you continue until you get a whole layer done. Now, this is an evening's project. Sit in front of the TV and do your fringing. Very relaxing. Yes. And once you finish your fringing, you're going to then attach the fringe to the wire. When you um, receive your wires, we have instructions on the back which show for each size tree, each layer, the um, size um, branch that you will be cutting and how many, cu how many branches you will be cutting. And you just go down. This For 18 inches, you'll have eight layers. And then you use a uh, snip to cut the wire. We're going to use the tacky, tacky glue to attach, fabric tack to attach the fringe to the wire. And then we have the tape which will attach the branches to the dowel. When you start doing your fringe, you're going to put a little dab of glue. Hold your fringe out to the left. Take the tip of your wire and just fold fringe over and hold it until the tacky glue sets it, which only takes a second. You're going to put glue down the strip and you're only going to go down to one within one inch of the end of the wire because that's going to be the part that um, attaches to the dowel and you don't want that covered. And all you do now is start twirling. And do n the only suggestion I have is to not overlap so that you do not get a thick branch and that's Great. it okay then you, then you cut where's my scissors? I think we're gonna do this in a few different parts of this tutorial so I think this is where we're going to cut off and we will return shortly it was five minutes 4.6. Wow. So I didn't want you to, I don't know yeah. what I did now, but okay. off, right? Okay, all right. So that's off. Okay, so 
Let's 